Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the beach. And in today's video, we're gonna give you a full review of my brand new Stevie Richards Fitness Company vehicle, the 2023 Ridgeline Sport, right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. And as I said in the top of the video, this is going to be a review of the brand new Stevie Richards Fitness Company vehicle right here, the 2023 Honda Ridgeline. This is the sport model, which is basically the base model, but you might think the base model is stripped down, doesn't have a whole lot of features. Well, with the Ridgeline, whether you go with the sport, RTL, RTLE, or the black edition, you're gonna definitely get a lot of features and specs that are built in across the board. There's some extra bells and whistles that I wasn't interested in. We're gonna get into that, but basically this is all wheel drive. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and of course we got the truck bed with a built-in liner. We also have a dual tailgate. We have a trunk, we have plenty of storage. We have things that I've never had before in my life. At 51 years old, this is my first pickup truck ever, and I couldn't be more excited, especially expanding, growing, and hopefully improving the business as far as content, bringing interesting content, being able to drive this all-wheel drive truck onto the beach, we can't do it on this beach, but we do have two beaches within the vicinity where we live, where we can drive the truck onto the beach. That means bringing bigger fitness equipment, more fitness equipment, some more versatile uh, and more expansive videos. And also of course the production equipment to have it right there, unload it, set it up, put it back on the truck and do that. Because right now we have to walk across the street, down the pier, do all that stuff to get to the beach so it's multiple trips i know first world problems but there is a problem that i've had this year where the truck actually helps medically and ergonomically is that that's the spine infection and right now my back and my spine well back and spine are the same thing my spine needs to fuse naturally over the next 12 to 18 months and my old car the 2006 Honda accord Man, that thing sat so low and it killed my back even before the infection and especially after the infection. So this truck here, I was really, really happy with it. And we're gonna talk about where I bought it, how we were treated and how the experience was actually a lot more positive than other car dealerships, stereotypical car dealerships that we had visited to try to purchase the Honda Ridgeline. So let's get started with some features, some things I like. Like I said, I'm not a car truck guy. It's gonna be a very general overview of me talking about what I like about this and also how I'm going to use it for the business in greater detail. So let's get started. So we were talking about the medical reason why I ended up getting the Honda Ridgeline Sport and also the ergonomics. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that real quick. By the way, proximity lock is awesome. I never had that in any vehicle I've ever owned, nothing close to that. A lot of stuff I've never had, whether it's a truck, SUV, or a car, uh, which like I said, this is my first pickup truck. I've had a couple SUVs and some cars, but man, uh, to have proximity lock, you walk away, it locks, you're near there, it unlocks, is so cool. Now, the only part is I've got to step into this with sand on my sandals and I'm like, oh, I want to keep it clean, but it just makes it very easy to step in and out of right here. So I'm able to be a little bit higher, actually much higher. Like I said, the Honda Accord set so much lower. So my knees are not really above my back. And when I get out of it I'm right here, I was going to get running boards, which are down here is off camera. We don't have running boards, but I'd probably hit my shins getting into it and then hitting something on the way out or tripping. So running boards aren't necessarily an accessory uh, that I want. We are going to look for some accessories too for outdoor activities and stuff. So very exciting. And we're going to bring those to you as well and how we're using it as part of Stevie Richards Fitness. But this is a uh, so nice to get in and out of. I mean, you, you don't know what you have until you start using it. So I go come from a, a Honda Accord, which I was very blessed to have that and it was paid off for so long. And then being even more blessed to be able to have something like this for the business is, is really cool. Let's try one more time. <laughs> I love it. So much fun. So as we walk up to the back area of the Ridgeline, and I say back area because I don't foresee anybody really sitting back here, although we can bring these seats down, but this is such a cool thing to be able to bring these seats up and then have all the storage right here. So if I was gonna transport, say a TV or anything bigger that I want on a truck bed, I would definitely do that. But this is a ton of room to be able to fit the production equipment in 
and even some fitness stuff, although I really will kind of regulate or rele relegate is the word I'm looking for, uh, all that stuff to the truck bed because there's going to be a sand, one, especially when we come back from the beach and I'm able to just hose that down or sweep it off. But in, inside's a little tougher to get everything out. But this is great. You even have uh, climate controls in the back, all that stuff, really great stuff that comes standard, even on the baseline, ridgeline. So like I said a few times, the Honda Ridgeline is a pickup truck, but the thing that makes it pretty unique here is the dual tailgate. You can see we have the regular tailgate here. By the way, it's not inertia. So people who are used to that, please be careful because it's going to drop. So you got to be careful on that part. But the thing that really makes it stand out is the fact that it locks right away. So we'll get that unlocked. And we can open up this way. So what this does is basically open up the side tailgate for somebody like me who's recovering from the spine infection, back is really, really stiff, no mobility, no flexibility. I'm able to step up. There's a step right here. I'm able to step up, use that, and just stand up right here off camera. So I'm able to get in and out of this truck very easily from the bed access. And also this here enables me to reach forward more into the truck and if I was going to have that truck, the, the gate out this way, I have to reach. So if I can, I can reach much deeper, even, even with my back the way it's feeling right now, I have more reach and more uh, flexibility to get what I need out of the, say, something towards the front of the truck bed. Plus, the bed liner is really awesome. No slip keeps up. I've loaded a bunch of stuff in here already, and it's just been incredible. So here we have the bed for the Honda Ridgeline Sport. And like I said before, there's many features across the whole lineup of these Honda Ridgelines that are the same. And this is one, the bed liner, the truck bed. Also, what I really like about it is the wheel wells don't come way up. So I'm able to fit tons of stuff in here, all flat. And also there's metal tie down things. I don't know the official name for them on all four sides. So that way I can tie stuff down or I have a cargo net that I got from the dealership when I bought the truck. And that's amazing. I like that better than the hardcover. A lot of people get that hardcover that I can't pronounce the name of, but I'd rather have the cargo net, use it when I need it, and then put it in the very cool trunk that we're gonna take a closer look at in a second. But that's, that's the trunk. Be able to have a trunk and also a drain plug. So if I put drinks in or fish or whatever for fishing on the beach, I'm able to just put it in there. Uh, it's full right now. You're not gonna be able to see the drain plug, but it's really great to be able to use that. This truck bed here is very unique. Now, what doesn't come with the Sport is the in-bed speaker. I didn't care about that. What I did care about was the power outlet, and I wasn't able to get that. I wanna see if there's gonna be an aftermarket solution to have a full power outlet here, because if I can charge the camera, the microphones, or whatever else I need, uh, on full filming days by using this. I can always plug it into the USB port on the, the inside, which is another idea, but even cooking, camping, all that stuff, I'd really like to have that full power outlet right there. So leave a comment below. Let me know what, what I can do aftermarket to, to make that happen. But like I said, first world problems, not a big deal. Here is the massive deep trunk on the Honda Ridgeline Sport. This thing is amazing. This was one of the things back in the Gen 1 Ridgeline. I was like, that is so cool. My buddy Donovan Morgan had a first gen Ridgeline and I always was fascinated by a truck that had a trunk that's bigger than my Accord trunk. So think about that. Also, here's the cargo net, which I was talking about uh, during the uh, truck bed chapter here on the review. This thing is really awesome. I ended up getting that from the dealership and I was very kind to them. It's worth like 161 bucks, but they threw it in and I'm, I'm really happy about that. By the way, I'm gonna talk about the dealership in the last part of this video. It was truly a positive experience and I wanna give them credit for that. But I got this thing filled up with a bunch of stuff and it's still not filled up uh, completely where it needs to be. You can also lock the trunk if you want to or when you close the gate, I uh, have a setting on the Ridgeline where it automatically locks this right here so it doesn't, not able to open it. But proximity wise, it unlocks and locks as well, which is a nice touch. 
Here's another thing that comes standard no matter which ridge line you buy, even this base model sport, and that's a tow hitch. It can tow up to 5,000 pounds, but I've never towed anything in my life, so maybe someday I'll do it, but it's nice to know that I didn't have to pay an extra thousand or more dollars for a tow hitch that I might not use, but it's great that it's included in case I do need it. So let's talk about buying the 2023 Honda Ridgeline Sport and how we got here because it wasn't such an easy road until we found the right dealership because we sure as hell found the wrong dealership one after the other after the other. It was basically every stereotype, every negative stereotype and the negative hype surrounding car salesmen, sales managers, finance managers, and car dealerships as a whole. That's what we experienced over the past year or so. Turned out to be a blessing because we got a great deal at the end of the month uh, on this one. But, you know, we had really, really bad experiences, almost to the point where I was going to buy a Tesla because the buying experience is efficient, easy, no pressure, all that stuff. Now, that's what, he, what we ended up experiencing at Coggin Honda in St. Augustine, Florida. My salesman, Cliff, who we had actually negotiated back and forth via text and email on a previous used Honda Ridgeline, and we didn't come to an agreement on a price, but Cliff was cordial, accommodating. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't put any pressure on me, even when I met him in person on Saturday, last Saturday at the time of his filming before Memorial Day. He was very accommodating. The sales manager and finance managers were very nice, were very cool. Um, we went back and forth, we negotiated, but the negotiation really wasn't that long. And we ended up getting uh, an out the door price, which was really, really good. An out the door price on this, which was actually much less than the out the door price on a lot of used ridge lines because I wanted to sport. They had a few on the lot. So I'm assuming they were trying to get rid of some of them. So they, they were very accommodating. Uh, and we ended up getting this. There's uh, two years free oil changes and tire rotations and an extended maintenance warranty that was, you know, tacked onto that that we ended up, uh, you know, getting and it seemed to work out financially there. Also got a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty on this. Just wanted to get that. So we went back and forth on price with all that stuff. They were accommodating. I'm sure they made some money on us, but we also saved some money. Uh, but we're very happy with, with overall the way they treated us and the way we went back and forth in a very cordial, um, civil, I should say, a civil way of negotiating and uh, nothing, nobody took anything personally from the previous negotiation, which fell through. So I have to say they were very professional, but also casual. And like I said, accommodating, civil, all those words that you ring true, very nice. Even post-sale, I had some questions about the financing and I wanna pay this off as soon as possible. And uh, Cliff got right back to me. Usually when salesmen make the sale and you're out the door, they never talk to you again. But Cliff was very, uh, you know, punctual and returning texts and stuff like that. So I have to say even post-sale, post I've had a positive experience uh, with Cog and Honda in St. Augustine. If you check them out, tell them Stevie sent you. And I, I don't know what they'll give you, but tell them Stevie sent you. What, 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 how can it hurt? I don't know what good it can do, but it can't hurt at all. So... That's about it. I'm very happy with this, and I'm looking forward to God willing many, many years because God has blessed me beyond measure to be able to sit on this tailgate right here without any kind of pain from the spinal infection. I, I feel so blessed, and I just want to get outside and bring even more content, more diverse content, uh, expand the content at different locations, experience life as I'm doing it, and hopefully pass that along to you so we can all experience it together and hopefully all encapsulated with giving you the most information so you can make the best consumer decision in your fitness journey. So that's about it. I'm so grateful to be alive, upright, and even be blessed to have something like this Honda Ridgeline Sport. So I hope the same for you. I want to thank you so much. And most importantly, God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day. I got my head held high. I'm on